Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Mm, in the previous video, we had a look at the default file manager of Ubuntu and different settings and talked about permission and things like that. Mm, let's see what we can do in this video. Uh, um, let's have a look at other applications, maybe. Uh, there are many useful applications comes applications come by default with the one like you have webcam boot which is kind of like um, you watch yourself through <laughs> through the webcam so you can watch yourself you have a very useful app maybe I don't know how useful is this contacts which is like a phone book or a contacts book I never used it personally but you could try um, let's have a look at other applications useful desktop sharing which is like you want to share your desktop and to other devices on the network and one useful application maybe disk which actually if we open this application we can see all the hard drive uh, I have two one portable hard drive one internal hard drive you can see all the partitions of this hard drive and do different things like format any partition or check for errors things like that and create an image of a partition save it for backup purposes things like that and you can see how much space is actually free for different partitions and what are the partition types or different hard drive can do many things amazing things you have character map which uh, kind of I don't know it has characters for many many languages different character table it's very useful if you are this application personally what I have you I use this application Sometimes for learning new language, for example, if I want to learn about, is there any Japanese, uh, Japanese language, no? Pooh, Japanese. Yes, here, Japanese. No, this is not installed. Okay, let's go to the language of Bangladesh, Bengali. And these are the, all the alphabets. This application actually has pronunciation details. For example, how this letter is pronounced is, if you go detail, is called A. Letter A and this one A. And this one is also shown here, Ka. And this one, Ka. So you can learn you can see all the alphabets for different language if we go back where we were before the other useful thing actually create so actually if we can double click and we can copy the text into our very fancy notepad or anywhere we want so we can actually use this as for <coughs> finding using different alphabets like I want Greek letter where is it Omega can I search for Omega beta where is beta alpha Omega here is the pronunciation Omega double click I got it copy into my text editor here you go 
nice omega close close so this is a useful app <clears throat> then you have desktop dix uses analyze analyzer as the name suggests you can see breakdown of your dix uses where most space where did all the space your spaces go if you are wondering okay how come i end up full dix with a full dix then you can see these are all the partitions for example begin i want to analyze the begin folder so inside begin folder these are the breakdown of my space i can see different representation uh, example if i go root file system root is the file system is giving it should analyze your load about hmm it's taking a while but we are not in rush Uh, this is a very fancy, fancy, fancy desktop recorder. I like this. One of the most useful desktop recorder for Linux at the moment. Hmm, I think it's taking too long. You can skip. Uh, if we just analyze the leaf folder, maybe it will take quicker. Or if we go back, home folder, analyze the home folder. See how the home folder, where did the most space? Local, the hidden folder local, the size is 1.3 gigabyte. Maximize this. And this breakdown more useful, I guess. I have 16 megabyte inside dot mochila hidden folder inside home. And this is the big chunk of that big chunk, big chunk. Go back. Window like let's have a look at the window uh, if you have any application window if you want to maximize just drag on top it becomes maximized just drag down again if you drag to the right you have this snapped again drag on the left snap I think it's very useful if you have to note down something using more than one windows like break it down like this open a text editor and snap like this hmm okay let's go back uh, actually I have okay later maybe let's have a look at other applications then we have document viewer which is like the default viewer for pdf files or something has to do with post script files and things like that so it's a very useful document viewer actually very powerful indeed i have used this for many many of my pdf files very powerful so you don't even need to download Adobe Reader on Ubuntu because it has built in PDF or PostScript viewer. Then you have image viewer which is like a default picture viewer. Okay, we should open some wallpaper. Go to the system folder. So here I know where are all the wallpapers backgrounds folder. Mm, backgrounds yeah here 
image files double click is very useful next 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 simple but yet powerful zoom drag drop random image side pan mm, it gives a lot of information the side pan you can select image properties okay image gallery it has even gallery flip rotate delete image move rubbish bin rotate 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 okay this looks good all good close with our saving now we have this office suite that comes default with one to lever writer which is like a word processor similar to microsoft word hello world and we have lever where is it where did all the go lever cal which is like a x an excel a spreadsheet application which is like excel and then you have application impress which is presentation application again hmm where, uh, where is all the templates uh, templates templates where are... <coughs> okay special presentation okay this okay you can see not close don't save hold don't save now what else uh, network folder where you can find network network folders network connections which are something to do with uh, internet connections or network connections and it's, um, rhythm box music player okay have a look this is the default music player like we, that comes with ubuntu ah uh, it has um, no music uh, hmm, radio so this music player is actually very integrated with the desktop what i mean by integrated you can control play stop this all this from here let's see rhythm box the name of the application is rhythm box do, 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 do can add any music add music why it's not happening add music okay basically you can control from here play next 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 choose playlist it's a music player it's not the <clears throat> player for your video files though so you have a screencast which is like a taking a snapshot of your desktop grab the whole screen take a snap here you go yeah save the name of the file save in the pictures folder copy to clipboard save i just save in the pictures folder now i go back pictures folder and here you go the file oh it's useful play around with that um, snapshot is where it has many features i guess mm -hmm. okay, so you have power these are settings okay. uh, security and privacy simple scan which is like a very simple scanner application if you have a scanner shoot well shoot well photo manager which is like a basic photo manager you can edit many you can uh, i mean you can do many things about with this for example port folder 
I go back to this share backgrounds where is it yeah okay put in place so I just imported all the pictures open this one and I can crop I can adjust exposure so this is a useful application if you are taking a lot of photos maybe this will come handy highlights reset enhance wow okay close too much editing <clears throat> okay let's have uh, in the next video we'll let's see we will explore more thank you